Welcome back guys. You are watching Brothers Together. A lot of uh, KCD 2024 aspirants were asking me questions about how to approach the KCD exam which is up to, I mean, which is about to happen in 2024 and how to uh, develop an ideal roadmap about how to go on with things in this particular available time to make the most out of it. So for that reason, I am here with a video in which I'll be discussing about a roadmap for KCD 2024, which will help you make the most out of the available time and in the same way give your best shot to kct exam so that you will be able to cross that 170 plus mark which will put you into a highly good position in your kct 2024 exam guys all you have to do is to listen to me carefully and watch this video till the end uh, without skipping guys because i'll be discussing about each and every subject individually about how to tackle and talking about myself i have personally been through this kct exam in kct 2022 and currently i am pursuing my engineering in uh, jss stu in computer science and uh, engineering department whatever i tell in this video comes with a lot of experience of myself involving in this process of preparation and the same way myself guiding other students in kct 2023 exam and uh, if you are someone who want to belong to the same category of people who will be excelling in KCT 2024 exam, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss out any video I upload about KCT 2024 preparation. Guys. As I told you earlier, let me uh, sit among you people. Let me think that I am a KCT 2024 aspirant and let me figure out what I can do in the upcoming six to seven months so that that will help you a lot. So listen to me carefully. Now let us assume that I haven't studied anything till now. So available time is seven months and I'm, I haven't prepared anything. So what should I do or what should we do? And uh, one of the important questions which even I had during my time of preparation, I mean, I mean this time of my preparation and many people were asking me the same thing last year also is that will I be able to crack KCD if I start from now? I hope many people will be uh, relating to this if you are someone who is serious about your kct 2024 exam because this question will be coming in your mind each and every month as each and each and every month passes by you will be realizing that oh the exam is getting nearer by one month so i should be serious so what am i doing will i be able to crack if i start from now on the answer is yes but there is a condition it comes with a condition that it is yes only if you stop asking yourself this question from today Yes, guys, I need one pro promise from you guys. I need all of you who are watching this video to promise me in the comment section that I won't be asking this question to myself, at least from today. So if you are someone who does this, then the job is almost 30% done. The preparation is 30% done. And once you start trusting in yourself, then trust me, nothing can stop you guys. Now, okay. Okay, bro, you told us that uh, we shouldn't be asking that question to ourselves. We should believe in ourselves. Okay, that is fine. Now what we should do? So, okay, we stopped asking that question. Will that uh, give us a seat in through KCT or will that give us a lot of marks in KCT? No, it doesn't happen like that. Yeah, as soon as you have created that mindset to tell yourself that it is possible to crack KCT if you start from today or if you start from any particular day, the next step you have to do is to consider T is equal to zero and start preparing from scratch. I'm talking about how to proceed now. Uh, I would suggest you to make a list of all the chapters which are there in physics, chemistry and mathematics. Yes, guys, we give KCT exam for PCM. I'm mean, talking about engineering students. We give exam on these three subjects and uh, we I would suggest you to make a list of all the chapters which are there under physics, chemistry and mathematics. This will tell you that this is something which you need to prepare. Guys, more often what happens is when we understand, when we are aware of what we need to prepare, we will be able to go on, uh, go about things very systematically. What we'll do is we'll roughly take some chapter. Okay, I'll take rigid body dynamics today. I'll take uh, fluid mechanics tomorrow. So that doesn't work like that, guys. So for that reason only, I'm telling you that make a list of all the chapters correctly in a systematical way in a particular sheet of paper and keep it with you while you're studying now the question which should come in your mind is that okay bro we made a list of all the chapters what next so how should we proceed and for that reason i have created different slides for different subjects about how to tackle or about how to go about with all the different uh, subjects individually next question which should come in your mind after you prepare your list is from where to start with okay should we should prepare that is fine but from where to start with is it the easier chapters which we should consider or is it the tougher chapters 
guys uh, if you ask people who have come across kct exam this particular question then i assure you that you will get a mixed opinion because uh, many people have different opinions in this particular question for instance let me consider mine if you ask me this question i will be telling you that considering easier chapters will help you rather than considering tougher chapters in the first itself yes guys there will be definitely certain chapters in the entire list that you will be comfortable with or you will be kind of habituated with starting off with easier chapters develops a positive feedback mechanism for your brain or your mind which will drive you further towards completing more and more chapters in a stipulated amount of time now talking about physics which is a really interesting subject among these three how should uh, you go about with a particular chapter in physics so that is something which i'll be discussing right now when you consider a chapter let me consider uh, which chapter shall i take let me consider electrostatics for instance i like the chapter a lot yeah if i'm taking electrostatics for my preparation first thing is that i should watch a lecture or i should listen to my teacher it may be your college professor it may be your uh, tuition teacher or coaching class teacher or it may be someone in youtube itself or whoever it may be the teacher which you prefer the teacher which you will be preferring for physics you should be able to watch a lecture on that particular chapter and then you should be able to make your own notes creating your own notes or writing your own notes will increase your chances of selection or your chances of getting a highly good rank in kct by more than 50% so then what you should be doing is to go through that notes which you have written three times four times five times so that now you'll not only be understanding what is written over there but you'll also be getting a brief overview or you'll be getting a kind of concoction in your mind about what happened in that lecture so this has happened to me and this has happened to a lot of people who uh, who kind of has taken these inputs from me so i'm telling you this guys this will definitely help you too and i used to revise all the formulas once after i did this so revise all revise of all the formulas once and you'll be good to go with solving a lot of questions on that chapter ncrt index and exercise questions also are really good and really relevant for kct so solve them and once you feel that you are confident on yourself about solving questions from that particular chapter go through pyqs of previous years kct 2020 2021 2022 go through from which areas examiner is trying to ask questions and then you'll be you'll be changing the dimension about how you approach chapters once you enter this uh preparation arena guys so uh chemistry is basically divided into three parts which is physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry physical chemistry is kind of like physics itself sequence which i told you for physics earlier the same thing can be followed for physical chemistry and uh, talking about inorganic chemistry so you can uh, develop a target rule which i used to follow so uh talking about what is target rule look when we are preparing for something and when it is full of theory itself there is no formula sir there are no problems it is obvious to feel bored about learning that particular concept and i was keeping a target of uh, okay in the next 10 minutes i should be completing these two pages and i should be completing it in such a way that i should be able to answer each and every question which will be coming from this particular part so this is called target rule the first 10 minutes i was doing the first two pages and then the next three pages and the next 10 minutes i was revising of all these five pages so that is something which i was doing for inorganic and even you people can do this organic is a subject wherein there will be a lot of confusions it's but obvious but as i told you earlier hard work i mean there is nothing which can match the benefit which you will be getting from hard work so if you are uh, struggling with a particular chapter in organic chemistry go through that particular chapter in the textbook once twice thrice yeah go through notes which are available online you prepare your own notes and if you are someone who is very much serious and if you are uh, going through the notes again and again and again this organic concepts will also seep into your mind slowly and again uh, this doesn't happen at once once you'll be reading the chapter and uh, it's not that you'll be understanding all the things in organic organic also has some things which you have to learn by heart so uh, take some time give some time for organic chemistry to seep in into your mind and uh, you will be able to uh, i mean you'll be able to sail through organic chemistry by doing this one thing which helped me in organic chemistry is sticking on to ncrt again inorganic and organic are uh, kind of non identical twins you should be sticking on to ncrt a lot in order to excel or in order to solve the questions which come from this particular part how to tackle mathematics i have been telling this for kct 2023 aspirants too mathematics in the sense you need not solve je level problems or uh, je advanced level problems and all to 
tackle KCET. If you just go through KCET paper, around 80%, around 40 questions among 60 questions will be there directly from NCERT and NCERT exemplar. Yes, guys, you heard it right. Stick on yourself to NCERT and NCERT exemplar. Take a chapter. Suppose you are solving matrices. These are easy chapters which you should be completing uh, in the first, I mean, in the priority. So if you are taking matrices chapter, then uh, solve all the exercise questions in uh, NCRT and then move on to NCRT exemplar questions. Through that, you will not only uh, get a deep understanding of the chapter, but you will also get hands on experience of certain questions which have been asked in KCT directly from NCRT exercise and NCRT exemplar, guys. So for mathematics, the drill is really simple, guys. Stick yourself on to NCRT and NCRT exemplar. Solve all the questions. Don't even miss a single question in a particular chapter. And I think you should be good to go with mathematics, guys. Yes, guys, for some people, mathematics will be a problem. And nothing is a problem if you are ready to give whatever it takes. So this is one thing which I uh, used to remind myself whenever I was feeling low on mathematics. And talking about your routine, I often see people misleading that you should be studying eight hours a day, you should be studying 10 hours a day. It doesn't work like that, guys. I am strictly against that. I kind of believe that it should be up to the student who is preparing that particular student will be knowing about how many hours of study he can put in so it should be left to him it should be left to you in this case you can figure out your routine which will be helping you but uh, don't kind of uh, overload your mind or overload your body with a highly strict routine and all make a flexible routine give around three to four hours a day give around two to three hours a day at least so that you will be in this groove of KCET 2024 preparation and you can just fasten up the process once uh, this year completes or once you enter January, February and all, you can just fasten up your process. And again, maintaining a good sleep cycle is really important and equally important. And I'm definitely sure if you are ready to give your 110% effort, if you are ready to be deterministic and if you are ready to show resilience and grit in your preparation for KCET 2024 exam, I'm sure that nothing can stop you and uh, start if you are someone who is starting from now on that will definitely give you an edge over people who start in the end or people who start preparing when there is very less time left. And the best part of this video is that I have created a telegram group for all the KCT 2024 aspirants wherein even I will be there even I will be able to help you out with your doubts about your strategies and uh, preparation and it may be doubts regarding your uh, solving of PYQ. I have created a telegram group exclusively for KCD 2024 aspirants. So this was it from my end. I hope I made justice to whatever I thought of delivering to you. And if you just like watching this video, then make sure that you hit the like button. And if you have any kind of doubts further, then please put it in the comment section and share this video with your friends who are preparing for KCT exam for in 2024 so that even they'll be getting certain takeaways which they can take from this video and inculcate in their preparation which will definitely help them uh, make their preparation effective guys with that note this is Darshan Skoda signing off and we are brothers together thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye